over at Canada's over here. And one day my uh, mother and uh, mother and Emma came out to get John and I. And what's the problem? Well, th the night before, Janice had stayed with me overnight. And mother and dad went out, I don't remember where. And she fixed me a, 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 on the stove a tuna, a peanut butter sandwich with, a, you know, what did, we, what did we call them? A grilled peanut butter sandwich. And, uh, and then we went to bed and she slept with me. And uh, she woke up in the morning, she didn't feel very good and she had a slight temperature. But I went on about my business and went out to the farm and and she went home. Well, come to find out, Viola took her to the doctor and she had a temperature and she had spinal meningitis. So they had come out to get me and John and taken us into La Crosse and to the hospital and we had to have, you know, x-rays of our chest and all. And then we had to go home and be quarantined for two days, we, two weeks. We couldn't go any place. Gwen couldn't go any place for two weeks. And she had slept with me the night before she got sick. So they were sure I would get it. Well, I didn't, thank heavens. And Janice suffered uh, all, all her life. She had, um, I can't remember what they called it, but she was blind and uh, she could see the light and dark and in a long distance away, but she couldn't see anything up close. And so in her later years, when they moved up to the golf course so Chuck could play golf and Janice could call him anytime she needed help, um, Anyway, uh, he, he built her bird, bird houses all, all over outside and had uh, bird music brought in, you know, uh, music, uh, singing, the birds singing and all. And I remember they had gross beaks there and other birds that I never saw before. Anyway, uh, he was so, so good to her. And uh, she had a girl take care of her for a long time, Georgia. And all of a sudden, Georgia quit, and we never heard from her again. So we don't know where she went or what she did or anything. Uh, anyway, Janice was bedridden, you know, all her life. You might say she, she had uh, spinal meningitis, a, a slight in perfection she had to hang on to things when she walked but you know Chuck had a boat a boathouse uh, on the river and she could walk in there fine because she could touch something all the time so he did everything he could to make her comfortable and have fun you know so anyway that's the story of Janice